today on Wing It, we're going to be unboxing and trying out this, the Huawei 4G Router 3 Pro. Mmm, can't wait to see what this one does. So what's up everyone and welcome back to Wing It. Today, we are once again venturing into the world of 4G Wi-Fi. If you haven't already noticed, I've probably done about a million videos on this. So only about a couple of weeks ago, I made a video on a brand new 4G Wi-Fi, which was from Vodafone, which I believe is called the R... I can't see it. It's the R219 or R219. Oh, it's the same thing I just said, isn't it? I'll put it in the description. You can go watch that video if you like. Basically, my contract with 3 for my B311 ran out. So I got rid of it and I started using a Vodafone one. However, it's not been that good. So today we're going to be giving a little bit of a down view of it. Um, and then unboxing this one and seeing if that can be any better, which I'm pretty sure it will be. So anyway, right at the moment, it's right here. Steve's got it. Hello, everyone. What do you think of it, Steve? Bloody shit, isn't it? Don't worry, anyone. St Steve is just an upcoming prop for the latest podcast we're doing and a, a quick comedic way of holding this piece of crap it's really quite slow and sluggish um as we saw in the test last week it didn't really peak over 25 most of the time which is about half of what i've been used to having on my old one which is about 50. so obviously at the time i had my doubts but like i said in the last video i was going to give it you know oh we give it some time just to live with it um i was still within my two week cancellation period from vodafone so i gave them a call up on the final day and cancelled the contract and i've got to send this back um which means now i cannot throw it across the room like i did last time because i can't it is a category uh, i think it's a category seven yes it's a category seven lt router um which means it has up to uh, 300 megabits per second or mbps download and 100 upload um which is probably more than them and also excuse me if my hands are red i've been spray painting um it's also dual band uh it's got both 2.4 and 5 gigahertz which uh is much better it means it can uh, work for both kind of devices depending on what your thing uses but that is so much better um the simple fact yeah it, downstairs we did a speed test we did a comparison between this and the b311 and yeah so anyway, I can't wait to get this out, so let's unbox it, get it up and running, and get some all-important all speed tests done. Unlimited data, no cap, no nothing, for £12.50 per month, which I think is a bloody good deal. So if you're interested, I'd say hop on three. It's a 12-month contract. If you go for a 24-month contract, it's a bit cheaper, it's only £10, but I bought 12, you know. You get a little bit more room to manoeuvre there. Um, so yes, this, unlimited data, no cap, up to, well, n well, no cap, yeah, up to nothing, no cap, and £12.50 per month, and that's everything, that's everything I pay, so I'm paying for the device, and for that uh, SIM card, the data on it, £12.50 a month, I don't think any deal you could find from any broadband, fibre, whatever, is going to be better value than unlimited data for that, now I know what you're thinking, Right, so as you can see, we are on Ookla and we have about a million World of Warcraft ads, which is good. Um, so, it's got my most, well, I'd say local server. That's not really the most local server to me, but um, it's an hour away. But there you go. So, it is free. It is that. Let's run a test. Uh, I'm not sure whether I'm expecting it to be amazing the first time, because it is literally the first time I've just plugged it in. I haven't tested it yet or anything. I want my reaction live on camera. So, let's run up. See where it goes. Boom! Oh, that's looking good. I'm liking this. I'm liking it. 75 we've got there. 69 now, dipping back down again. 46 is the ping, which is about fine for this area. It's what I'd expect it to be. Wow, look at that. Fuck you, mate. I shouldn't swear, but I have to. What do you think, Steve? <gasps> oh my god! That sounds quick, don't you? Oh, look at the upload as well. 31. <whistles> Damn, the videos are going to be flying up onto YouTube now. So summarising then, the B535, um, you can't go wrong really, um, we think we pretty much proved this last time we did it, um, although uh, a few people did wonder what it would be like if I tested it up in my room, well this time I have guys, because this is my one. 
Um, so yeah, it, it knocks the Vodafone out of the park every day of the week. It's cheaper than the Vodafone, it's quicker than the Vodafone, I like the look of it more than the Vodafone, and it arrived quicker than the Vodafone, and Freeze customer service was better than Vodafone's. So really, you can't go wrong. If it is plugged in, home Wi-Fi you're looking for, then I get your hands on the B535. They don't make the B311 anymore. So yeah, hop onto free if you do want to get it via them. Because like I said, there's £12.50 per month for 12 month contract, unlimited. And you can see there we're averaging about 69 to 70 download and about 30 to 32 upload. And the ping is somewhere between 40 and 50, which for this area, um, for out here in the countryside, I, is about normal. Um, and would be the same even on Fiverr. So yeah, if you were in the city, chances are that'll be even higher in speeds and lower in ping um, but yeah out here in the countryside you can always go on Free's website they have a postcode checker on there you just put your postcode in it'll tell you how your speed is going to be mine is considered very good for outside and indoor areas so that will give you a little bit of stuff to work with thank you all then for watching this video hopefully you guys enjoy it and I have to say I'm much happier now inside uh, after seeing that because um, yeah the the other one was just not good enough really so I uh, yeah, don't get that um, and yes thank you all uh, for watching yet another 40 video thank you for your continuing support on this if you have any questions regarding this uh, or the Vodafone one although there's not really much you need to know because you shouldn't buy it um, that's all you need to know really um, if you have any questions about this leave them in the comment section down below uh, yeah ask whatever you like um, if you do see someone else has already asked the same question try not to ask the same one because I don't respond to the identical questions again and again and again I tend to have a habit of maybe replying to two or three of the same one and then I'll just you know because otherwise a lot of people ask the same sort of thing um you know a lot of people go work well, you know yeah they just ask they just ask the same questions so um yeah if you do see your questions already been answered the better thing you could do would be to give it a like the comment and upvote it so other people can see it as well um I'll favorite and uh, pin any comments that I, I really enjoy as well so um yeah thank you all for your support um and i'll see you all in the next video goodbye